Shea Bear here. Shea Bear 1000. <coughs> so, I set up to sell six or seven days in a row. So I took the day and I wanted to uh, get some stuff cleaned up here in the garage on my side. We got this all cleaned out. That's some of my stuff there, but this is stuff that's going to be worked on. This is what I'm going to be putting up on the bench next. And I want to do that next because it needs fuel lines, but if it needs, I'm going to order some carburetors today. So if that needs a carburetor, I want to get one. I want to get one ordered for it. Um, same way that Troy built. Right there, it needs a carburetor. Now these are kind of important because they're bigger money than just a regular weed eater because they've got all these attachments. Uh, the Troy built has, uh, what, three attachments? It's got an edger, weed eater, and a saw. And the Ryobi has an edger, weed eater, saw, and the, what do you call it there, that little tiller thing. So that those two I need to get going pretty quick. I got a couple things out there for sale right now. Got my personal chainsaw. I've got uh, so I've got more chainsaws uh, that need to be fixed. So I need to get my bench cleaned off so I can get the Ryobi up there. And this stuff just got moved over because of uh, you know we was cleaning. So this is going to be all situated and stuff. But right now I need to get my bench cleaned off and I need to get this. Uh, I got my little speaker on because I'm listening to music. I need to get that done and find out if it needs a carburetor. If it don't, that'll be great because I need to get this stuff done before she gets home today because I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm not feeling well. I think I'm overdoing it a little bit, but I can't sit around. So I promised her I wouldn't overdo it and I won't, hopefully. But if she comes back and I'm really torn into a bunch of stuff, She's not going to be happy. She's going to say, I told you to sit back and relax. And I was like, and she said you should go. You said you would. But, um, I can't do that, guys. It's Friday. I cannot, I just can't sit around, you know. So I've got a couple things out here for sale. I got my peanuts out here for sale. I had stuff sitting out here for sale yesterday. I didn't make a damn dime, which is unusual for here. Because usually, you know, I'll make a dollar. But I was going to go set up with my buddy Steve today but I wanted to, I really wanted to get this done and I got to get you know I want to get that uh, Ryobi running or at least find out if it's going to need a carb because I know it needs lines I got the lines it needs a primer bulb I got about 27 primer bulbs and none of them will fit because it's the pushing style it just pops in it's got two little clips it pops in I'll show you when I get to that uh, and all the ones I got take the little two little screws so I had to go get one of them. It was like f five bucks, man. I get the stuff online cheaper, but I just went right up here. And I had to grab a couple fuel lines. Uh, and they're $2 a foot up here. Man, it's crazy. So I'm, I need to start ordering that stuff online. But didn't have enough money in the bank account. You guys know what that's like to order that stuff. And I happened to have some cash on me yesterday. So I just went out and paid cash for it. Uh, for those few items just enough to get the Ryobi running or find out I'm confident it'll run I just don't know if it's going to need a carburetor or not because usually once they set you know I also have another chainsaw back here it needs fuel lines it may need a carburetor too so I want to get I got enough fuel lines to do that and a carburetor so or that and the chainsaw it's a Craftsman uh, 18 inch uh, so I should get be able to get it running and then I got that big ass blower now it's gonna need lines too but where is it I can't remember but we'll check that out later but so those those are my main items I want to get a carburetor ordered for the Troy belt definitely gonna get the, the uh, Ryobi running and then I'll know if it's gonna need a carburetor it shouldn't, but you never know. Once some once some things set, them carburetors, the diaphragms they get all brittle inside of them. But 
I found a website. Is it eBay? Maybe it's eBay. Anyway, I found I found where I can get them, get the carburetors. Uh, now I don't know about the one for the Troy built, but like the one the carburetors for most of my uh, the chainsaws that need them, like two dollars and seventy cents, brand new with a warranty. They're not wall bros, but that's okay. Um, and I can get rebuild kits for five bucks. So I can, you know, we can put, see that, that, that's the stuff that uh, a guy, Gary, he dropped off to me and we're fixing them and selling them and we're splitting the money. I'm fixing them. He'll bring them to me. I'll fix them, sell them and we'll split the money. So we made some money so far on that deal. Um, so we, we was just kind of wondering, should we put it in a lot as parts, you know, but they all run. Or, you know, should we buy carburetors and put on them? Well, since I found the carburetors cheap, I think I'm going to go that route. And if it's one where it's a $12 carburetor, I can probably just go ahead and rebuild it because I can get a rebuild kit for like five bucks. That we can put money into a little bit. But, you know, them Polans, them Poland chainsaws, you can get them for around $125. The smaller ones you can get for around a hundred on sale, so we can't put too much into it because we can't put a lot of money on it. It's not it's not like a steel or an Echo or a Home Light, so they are name brands, but they're cheap name brand. You know, uh, I've got a oh, I'm gonna show you this. Got a hell of a deal on this. I'll tell you about this later. Uh, we'll get into this. I got that. Okay, so I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I got a chain for it. Guy gave me the chain for it. He said it won't run. He said he, he you know, this is what he says. It ran one day and then the next day he went to use it wouldn't run. See, that's an expensive one. You know, I could put, you know, that's a 18 inch bar, I believe. Uh, it'll take a bigger bar. I think you can go 20 inch on that. But, that thing there, you know, it's a steel. It's an older one, granted, but you know that I, you know, I could put 150 on it, and I could get 125 out of it all day long if it'll start up and run, because um, they're expensive. Now, like mine out there, my Poland, it's one of those ones you can find them on sale every so often. That one out there. You can find them on sale every so often for about a hundred bucks. So I got fifty on it. I'm prepared to drop, but it does have the case, so I'm not going to drop much. Forty, forty-five dollars. Now, I gave five or ten bucks for that last year at the flea market. So I don't have much money in it. So I and plus, so that gives me room. I can price it to sell quick, you know. So anyway, that's what's going on, so let me get this cleaned off, and I'll get the Ryobi up there, I won't show you step by step, because it's not a how-to video, it's just a Friday vlog, but I'll bring you with me, and I'll talk to you, and shoot shit, and I'll show you a little bit of what I'm doing, but you guys have seen me change lines before, it's not that hard of a deal, uh, so let me get this cleaned off, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back, I'll show you here what, what we're going to do, like I said, I'm not going to show you step by step, but i to put these fuel lines on. I got to look and um, it just takes the two same size ones. Um, some of these, like uh, weed eaters and chainsaws, some of them will have the uh, have a bigger one and a smaller one. But this one looks to me like it takes, it's the same size. So uh, I've got a filter here. It's going to go on. Here's the primer bulb I was telling you about here. Uh, let me get this opened up for you. See, it's the clip in style. Got the two clips, and the other one I don't have one out. I got they're down here in my drawer, but they take uh, two screws uh, to hold them on. Some of them, you know, just has a just takes the ball, but there's still two screws that hold it, one on each end. So, this is where it's got to go. 
right there on that carburetor so hopefully that carburetor is still good so I'm going to set you up here I'm just going to talk to you guys while I do this okay because well I don't know why um there we go somewhat straight so that chainsaw under my feet ah. so anyway I gotta put my glasses on Hopefully, again, this will run good. Um, here's my tank. Now, this tank is supposed to have uh, two of these, and I've only got one. What that is, that's just a rubber mount for my gas tank. So, I'm going to have to pick a couple of them up, I'm thinking. I got right there. There's supposed to be another one there, and I had them. I had them both. Apparently, I lost one somewhere. I don't know what's going on with that. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not sure what this is on the tank. Um, hopefully, the tank don't leak. I mean, I can fix it if it does. It's no big deal. But, anywho, so what I got to do is I got to fish this down in here. Well, I'm going to have to fish it clear up to where where it'll come out this end so I can put my filter on and uh, it's not the original filter for it so I'm not even sure if it's going to work but we're going to try it uh, I made a sale <laughs> I was in here and getting ready set up for you guys set the camera up for you guys and uh, guy stop was looking at stuff just a couple things I have out there was talking he's what you got on that blower? I know I, I know a elderly woman that, that could use that. Yeah, this will fit. Let's make sure it's free. Okay, good. Um, so I said, so what you got? It's a five bucks. He said, five bucks at work? I said, yeah. And uh, I brought it over here, front door there, and plugged it in for him and turned it on. He was like, well, that's worth five bucks, isn't it? I said, I would hope. <laughs> so, he says, yeah, I'll buy that off of you. She can use it. Um, so, I can't get you Whoa, used to this camera. It's a little different than Monkey's, which used to be mine. But So, what I'm going to do is this line's going to run down to about the middle of the tank once I pull it back through with the filter on it. Because you want the filter laying there. And it's going to be on this side. So I'm going to run it that line into this hole on this side. Because, you know, these weed eaters are always tilted this way. So you don't want the line up here. You want the line to lay down on this side. Uh, about center ways. You know, that way it's leaning forward. So, these things will run upside down. Yeah, these two strokes. As long as it's getting fuel from the tank. Or anywhere. I mean... You can mount these things on something upside down, so that's pretty cool. Uh, now I gotta figure out. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta find out which one of these is which. So, um, so I gotta find out. Okay, that's the return. And the short one. Usually, the short one I found. Every one of these, say there's two, there's a long one and a short one. The short one is usually the pickup, where it sucks it up in. Sucking on my tongue. Um, so this one's going to, this is going to be a little weird, so I'm not sure. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Maybe it'll be a little better for you. What I've got, see so I'm not sure. If see the primer bulb is going to go here, okay, and then I've got a line that's going to go to there, and it picks it up through, I believe. So I think it goes through there, and then the return, okay. So what I got to do is I got to figure out here which one is which, because I didn't take it apart, so I'm not sure. Whoa, <laughs> I'm not sure what uh. I don't know if it goes from the primer bulb to that one and from there down or if it just goes to there and there down. I'll have to just hook it up and find out. 
it's usually not that hard because the one that the one that does that uh let me tighten it up here. There you go. The one that um the suction side is the one you're gonna want your filter on. The other one's just a return. It's just gonna go, you know, it's just gonna go inside here down about an inch. Because all that does is take the excess fuel, it sucks it through the carburetor and then puts it back into the tank. Essentially that's what it does. Um, so what I need to do is I'm just going to put this line on here. And once I get this figured out, I'll show you guys in case you have one like that. And right there, and then I'll push my primer bulb, see if it's sucking up through the other side. I don't think it is, so it may go this way. They say you can also put these in water and find out, but... Okay, I think I found where it goes. Yeah, so so it goes from the primer bulb over to the far right one. I'll show you guys once I get this hooked up here. I'm gonna go over to there. Get this just on here. Uh oh, got an issue. There it is. Let's say I have an issue, it's not fitting, and that would be weird because these are all the same A style there. And it just pops into that hole right there. I'll show you as we go what we're doing, okay? Just pops right down in there. Now this line here is going to go to that, that nipple there. And... Then this one will go into the pickup on the tank, which will be in this hole. And then the other one from the uh, primer bulb will go back in there. So let's go ahead and get that done. I don't know what's going on with my stand, but for some reason, it's not one to stay tight. I don't like over tightening my, my stuff. So. Alright, so let's get this on here as if we're going to hook it up so I know about how long I need. Okay, so that one's going to go there. So I need to cut it off right about there. Like I said, once I get these on here, I'll show you guys how it is in case you have one. Just like it and you need to replace the fuel lines, you can uh, help keep this video in your archives. Download it and... Uh, And you'll know which way it's supposed to go. Put that up on there. Okay, there's that. Now, I don't know if this, I need to see if this is going to be long enough to come from the carburetor. Oh, yeah, I think it should be. But is it going to be long enough for me to pull? I don't know. Hmm. This one's a pain in the ass because I got to take it clear from here all the way out this tube. I don't want to use the whole other one just to. And it looks like one of those urinal bottles they give you in the hospital, don't it? So I've got my little uh, little wire here. It's just a bread tie. You guys have seen this before, but for the new people, maybe it'll help you. So I'm using just a bread tie that's been stripped. Okay. I want to stick it in here so I can pull this through the, uh, the, uh, yep. <laughs> so I can pull it through that hole in the tank. I just want to. But, uh, 
where I'm from in Ohio, we got a place we can go to and buy parts like this. Of course, anywhere you go, you know, you're going to pay money for it if it ain't online. You're paying for convenience just to be able to run up the street and get what you need. So, but we got a place where I used to buy my fuel line by the foot. So, bending on me there. Um, and I'd go in by, you know, eight, maybe ten feet of three sizes. There's two typical sizes, but I would get like uh, six feet of the biggest diameter. Then I would get uh, eight feet of the small and eight feet of the medium. I, I'm not sure what the sizes are. Uh, I can't remember that now, but that's what I would do, and then I would have it. The wire just broke, and I would have it whenever I needed needed to use it, you know. So um. But anyhow, so yeah, I sold that blower. That's good. Somebody's going to get some use out of it. And why does my wire keep breaking? I may have to get another piece of wire. See? Let's put it up through like that. Focus. Alright, now I'm going to stick it down in the hole I want it to go in. Sometimes it helps if you uh, spray a little lubricant on this, maybe some WD-40, whatnot. Uh, this one's going in fairly easy. I hope it don't leak. If it leaks, I'll have to put a, it's uh, like a little connector in there and um, not a connector. Yeah. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. But we'll just have to see. And then I pull it up through. If we do that, I'll show you how to do it right now. I can't explain it to you. Just like a joint uh, fitting. I forget what it's called. So it goes like this, and there's like a fitting there. Okay, and then you pull it clear up to that fitting. And that fitting where it goes around the nipple, you know, makes the, 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 the line bigger. So then when you pull it up, it gets real tight in there, and that's what keeps them from leaking. But this one I shouldn't have to do it to. We'll just have to see. If I do, I've got one. Somewhere. <laughs> Now, I've done this before. Some of these are, are a pain because they go away like clear over and stuff. This one's not too bad, but I've pulled them clear through before. Like, pop! After I've worked, you know, 10 minutes to try to get it say. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to stretch this. So in order to do that, get my... I don't have a pair of small vice grips. These things are shit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip this on to this line here so it doesn't pull clear through on me. And then I'm going to have to stretch this line out like that so I can put my uh, so I can put my filter on. So let's do that. I'm just going to clip the end off square. Ain't got to be perfect, guys. This, this ain't the space shuttle. It's not NASCAR. It's a fucking weed eater. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, these Ryobis aren't too bad. Sis. I'll show you what I did in here. I just stretched it out through there and that's holding it on the other end. Now I can let go of it 
and I'm just going to pull this through. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Until, until it's about the center of that down inside there. So it's I'm gonna be setting about. See that dark spot up under there? That's the filter. See it? So that way when it's forward, the gas is gonna be right there. It's always gonna be on a pickup side. So there's that. We'll go ahead and clip this end off. There we go, just like that. This. Now the other one's not gonna have to be as long. So this one go there. So uh, I've got one here. I don't know if it's gonna be long enough. I don't know, we'll have to see. Let me get this. Just bought more line. So this is gonna go like this up in here. No, you know what? I think maybe it only had one in the back because it doesn't look like there was one there. So I think that's the way. Yeah, okay, there's. Okay, so it only has one. I thought it had two. I may be mistaken, guys, but, you know, I'm human, right? So let's get this. down in here. So this is going to go up into the carburetor here for the pickup. Just like that. Okay. Now I gotta run one. I should have bought more fuel on it. Chainsaw. <coughs> Excuse me. Chainsaw fuel line is not as long. So, this, before I get that tank up in there. Go ahead and shove this one down in here. The return. I'm gonna clip this off at an angle. This does not matter if it stays at an angle. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. I just do it so it fits better on to like the nipples or the. Since this is not going on anything, it just sticks down in that hole. I'm just gonna stick it down in that hole. Uh, about I can't see it. about an inch. Just got to return. That's all it's got to do. Now, I'm going to put my tank on. It just goes in them three little divot things. Ah, there we go. Just like that. Okay. Now, these screws, you're going to have to loosen these screws up to get that to make sure you tighten them up okay now let me get this I gotta hook this up to the fuel line so let me get this clip all right or hook get it hooked up to the fuel line get the fuel line hooked up to the primer ball It's not all the way on. Let me get this pulled up there. There we go. Alright, now throttle came unhooked. There's that. Now, I'll show you kind of what I got here. Okay, so we've got on the short end of the primer bulb, it's going to the one with the filter, with the pickup tube on it. Hang on. No, it ain't. It's going 
over to this side here. Okay, now the one, the other side of the carburetor right there, that's going down into the pickup. And then the other side of this is just the return. It's just got to go in, you know, just enough to where it's not going to pull out because all that's doing is sending the fuel back in. Okay, so let me get you back up here again. Let's get this uh, carburetor bolted up. Past experience tells me I should check to make sure it's pumping first. But I think it's right. Uh, we'll see. If somebody had this. That's a good idea, guys. If you're taking something apart, maybe a while before you put it back together. That's just a zip tie. He had the the two the two nuts that hold the carburetor on. He just had them zip tied on there. Uh, I do that quite a bit. Piece of wire, whatever you got. Um, tape. Not as good because tape don't stick. If your thing's greasy and oily like this, because this has been used, uh, may not may not hold, may fall off, then you lose it. But hmm, that's bigger. Usually they're ten millimeter, five sixteenths. That one's a little bigger. So let me get my. Just a little cool box out here. I'll let you know what size these are. Uh, it's the same size as the tan. Look, maybe like a 3 8 or a 9 30 seconds. Let's see what we got here. 3 8 Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and tighten this down. Uh, needs a filter. I got stuff to make a filter with. Um, so if this runs good, I'll throw a filter in it, clean it up, and we'll check and make sure all the attachments are working correctly. So there's that. Now I've got to tighten these these end screws up. Okay. Because right behind that, where you see where I showed you these four screws, right behind that, your your connecting rod, your crank, piston. So now I think okay, I think that's it. Yeah, right there. Those four, right behind. There's your rod. You can see your connecting rod, your crank. Okay, so now see I've, I've got to blow all this out anyway. So. But um, let's let me go get some fuel. Let's put some fuel in it. See if it runs. Hang on a second, guys. Boy, this battery don't just don't last as long as the battery in my other camera. Well, oh, monkey's camera. Okay, so let's get you down here. It's not sucking it up. There's suction on it. Got enough. Whoa, sorry guys. Got enough fuel in there. There's plenty of fuel. Uh oh. I've got a leak here. See, it's leaking somewhere. Right in the carburetor, it looks like. Well, let me switch them two lines around and let's see if that does it. Okay, guys, so I did have it wrong. So it's going to come. Show you this. The short side's going to go right directly in there. The long side of the primer bulb is going to go into the tank. And then this one over here is your pickup. So, see if you can. There we go. Alright, let me get this back together. Alright guys, I got them lines switched around. They were wrong. My bad. Let's get you set down here. Let's see if this thing's going to run. Okay. 
I pumped that already seven times we saw that so I'm gonna choke it I'm gonna crank it yeah set to let it run 15 seconds and then throttle it up once we once we hit the throttle it'll automatically come off and choke Okay, so battery went dead in the other camera. So it's running, but it's only running on choke. So there's something wrong with the. See, these don't have a float, they got a diaphragm that works kind of like a float. And the diaphragms get all brittle and stuff. I think that's what's going on with this, but I think it's worth putting. Uh, I think the carburetor for this one's six bucks. I'm gonna order me a carburetor, but it'll run long enough to try our attachments. So what do you guys want to try first? We got an edger, we got a little saw, we got a weed eater head. We've all seen weed eaters work, but I gotta check the head and make sure it does. And we got the tiller. I'm gonna go. Let's put the let's put the edger on first and let's see how that works. works let's try the saw Two out of four. Now, let's try the tiller out. I gotta find a place to try it out, so hang on a second. I think it's worth putting a carburetor on. Okay. Uh, 
I probably rebuild this one, but uh, hell, carburetor for five or six bucks for well. I'm not sure I have to look. It might be eight for this carburetor. Even 12 bucks I can put into it. I don't want to go no more than that. So I'll probably just rebuild it. I'll show you what it is. It's this piece right here. Hear that? I shouldn't do that. That should be pliable like rubber. That's what it is. I got this old one out just in case. And it's no better. So. Here we go. Alright. Uh, I think I told you guys. Yeah, I sold the, the blower. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish. <coughs> Excuse me. Cleaning up in here. Get me a sodi pop. And, uh, then I think I am going to take a break. Um, I haven't sold any peanuts today. But I didn't get skunked today. It's not bad, you know, I mean, I've been skunked twice. And how many months? So, not too bad. Uh, okay, so this all here. This will be the next video, because I'm getting tired. Uh... We'll check the spark and all that crap and see what's going on with that. I uh, said it wouldn't run. I pulled it a couple times. It does have compression. Uh, so, we'll get that going. Besides, i got to get some more gas. Uh, I mixed my gas in this can. I bought this can, I think for the boat motor or something. 40 to 1, 50 to 1. So, I never threw the can away because I thought I can mix myself my stuff in there with this little funnel and so that's what I do I use um, I use this it's got it's from the boat or the boat motor it's got my uh, mixes on there so you know 50 to 1 40 to 1 25 to 1 the boat was like 25 to 1 or something like that but that robe is 50 to 1 but 40 or 50 to 1 will run fine depending on where you're at what you're doing I always just mix everything 50 to 1 unless it was like the boat motor which didn't take that much oil so I didn't because it would follow the plugs out but 40 to 1 will run anything 50 to 1 if you're running it and it's smoking more than what you feel it should drop back down to 40 to 1 so I saved this can because you know it's got a nice uh, safety lid on it I don't have to worry about it so and I don't have to wait what can is it I got my mix in you know gotta look see is it green or <laughs> So that's what I'm going to, or that's what I do with that. So, but it's empty and that's that. But I'm going to start the Ryobia, oh, excuse me, the Ryobia, let it idle, let it run. It's only got less than half a tank of gas in it, but I'm going to go ahead and run it out. That way it's, you know, everything else is going to be lubricated, the rings and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, there we go. Why does my lip look real big? Probably because I shaved. <laughs> Alright. We're going to go for now. Thanks for watching my vlog. Appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth, Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And a great week to come. Appreciate you guys watching. Bye-bye now. Take care.